Hello everyone, welcome back for Grey. I'm super super happy that you are here and I hope you are ready to start with this new week. Um, I hope that you had an amazing weekend. Today we're going to do a lot of activities because this time we need to hurry up and we need to keep going with the activities. So first of all, we are going to do a review about the vocabulary that we've been working in Unit 6 that it's called Life Long Ago. As you know, in this unit we are talking about uh, activities that we do today, but in the past where people didn't used to have so much technology as we do now, and they used to do these kind of activities in a different way because of course they didn't have the technology such as uh, speakers, I have my speaker in here, es una bocina, uh, computer, um, all about computers, headphones, cell phones, all this uh, technology that we are used to use today, but maybe our parents, grandparents used to have, didn't used to have. So let's review the vocabulary and as you know you need to repeat with me, we need to say this together and practice this a little bit. So let's start with drive cars, drive cars, okay, this is really easy, and today we ride cars, we ride cars, but in the, okay, also uh, we have wash clothes in a washing machine, wash clothes in a washing machine, these are activities that we do these days, okay, Act in nowadays. Wash clothes in a washing machine. This is washing machine. So we also have have a cell phone. Have a cell phone. The cell phone is this one. It's an old iPhone. And also have electric lights. Have electric lights. Also, okay, this is the electric light. Also we have cook in a microwave. Cooking a microwave. Do you use microwaves? I have one, but I never use it. Listen to an MP3 player. MP3 player. I told you before that today MP3 players aren't that popular. MP3 players were popular like in the 2011 or something like that because or earlier because the cell phone that we used to have uh, they didn't have that option to where you could save music so if you wanted to listen to music that wasn't in the radio you needed to have an mp3 player you needed to have your cell phone and also the mp3 players because you couldn't save your music in your cell phone now we can save our music in the cell phone using like uh, Apple Music or Spotify or YouTube Music but this is what we have today but earlier people didn't used to have this so I think I had an mp3 player but I can remember so it was just super smart small but you could save a lot of songs in there only songs okay not videos not movies cooked on a coal stove Cook on a coal stove. Now we're entering in the activities from the past, activities that uh, maybe we do now, but in a different way, in a more modern way. So for that reason, the verb is in past, okay? Cooked on a coal stove. And this is the coal stove, the, this huge thing, cooked on a coal stove. And the picture is also black and white. And had a phone with an operator repeat had a phone with an operator okay this is also in past had a phone with an operator okay this is the phone and the operator traveled by horse and buggy this is also in past it's a regular verb right traveled by horse and buggy let's see um the horse and the buggy here okay also washed clothes by hand wash clothes by hand some people 
keep doing this. Sometimes I do this because I prefer uh, maybe some clothes aren't that aren't made to to stand the washing machines. I don't know. Maybe you know about this. May, do you wash your clothes by your own? Also, we have okay, they are washing the clothes by hand, and we also have had oil lamps remember that in the past people didn't used to have electric electricity so they used to use oil to put on a lamp and turn it on okay and also listen to the radio remember that they didn't used to have like music in the cell phones or mp3 players so they should listen to music on the radio and that's it now i think we are ready to go to the activities because we have three pages for today uh, i was telling you we need to hurry up and uh, we have workbook pages 64 65 and 66 okay so now we have activity one on page 64 that says read and write the letters then trace them path Okay, so we have different letters, L, I, G, E, and O. And also we have in the other side more letters, L, G, A, F, O, and exclamation mark, okay? So, and they have the vocabulary, drive cars, travel by horse and buggy, hot oil lamps, listen to the radio, cook in a microwave, wash clothes by hand, and in the other side says wash clothes in a washing machine, cook on a cold stove, have electric lights, listen to an mp3 player, have a cell phone, have a phone with an operator, okay? So you're going to put this vocabulary in here, writing the letters in here, so you can match with the pictures, and also, you are going to follow the path, okay? So, and you're going to start, and you are going to follow the path. Vamos a seguir las líneas punteadas, okay? And when you finish doing these two activities, writing the letters and also following the path, you are going to do the next activity. Activity 2 says, look at the letters in one, las que pusimos aquí y aquí y aquí, and write the letters. What do they spell? And now we need to find out something important. Now you have the spaces in here and you are going to write the letters that you use in the, in the previous activity and you need to find a tense. It's not like a tense, it's more like a, like a phrase. Um, yes, so you are going to find out what is it, okay? So we're going to see how many of you find out um, this secret message, okay? So activity three in page 65 says, listen and match in the old days. Okay, so life 100 years ago was different, you see. That's the song, okay? Uh, so you have A, B, C, D, E, the pictures. It says, letter A, now there's water from the top. Letter B, and now there's TV, letter C, now there are computers, letter E, now kids take up a school bus, and letter E, now a lot of people have cars, okay? So we're going to match with the corresponding, uh, as you can see, here in the song you have some phrases in, bl in blue, for example, there were no computers, number two, uh, there was no TV. Number three, children used to get water from pumps or wheel outdoors, okay? Number four, few people had a car. Five, children used to walk to school. So you're going to match uh, number one, two, three, four, and five from the to the pictures, okay? So I'm going to play the audio so we can do this activity like super and really fast. Workbook. Page 65, Activity 3, Listen and Match, In the Old Days Song. Okay. Life 
life 100 years ago was different, you see. There were no computers and there was no TV. No TV. So that was it for the song. Activity 4 says right about now and long ago. So you're going to compare whatever you want to. Um, you need to choose, like, for example, if you want to talk about activities that people or chores from the house. The chores from the house are activities that you do at home, like los quehaceres de la casa. And, or for example, doing exercise or doing homework now that today we use cell phones computers but in the past but was different so you are going to think about an activity that you do today and you can ask your grandparents or your parents to help you or you can ask them how did you do these activities in the past okay so you are going to compare now for example and now there's water from the tap. And you can say, in long ago, they used to get water from the pumps, okay? Just like in the song, this is an example. You cannot use the same ones that are here in the song, of course. And in the last page, page 66, we have um, a, another activity. Activity 5 says, Read then circle T for true or F for false, okay? So life was nicer then and it's the same story but this is just like a little bit shorter. And yes, you're going to read this again and you're going to read the sentences. Number one, grandma is too lazy to change the channel. Is it true or false? And you circle. Then number two, people didn't watch TV when Sam's grandma was young, true or, true or false. Number three, there were no remote control when Sam's grandma was a child, true or false. Number four, there are only three channels now, true or false, okay? So that's it, Think big activity. What did your grandma have when she was a child? Uh, read and check or cross, then write. So, um, my grandma is like 80, 85 or something like that. So it was long ago. Uh, now, so you're going to check, uh, for example, computer, phone, washing machine, microwave, car, bike, TV remote control, books, and the radio, okay? So you're going to check or cross, depending if your grandma or your grandpa used to have these kind of objects and also uh, my grandma if you don't have a grandma or you can say it about your grandpa uh, for example in my case i only have a grandma so it's perfect for me and yeah so now we are going to write about this uh, my grandma hat and you're going to write 
My grandma had, for example, bike, books, and radio. That's it. She didn't have computer, phone, washing machine, microwave, car, TV remote control, and that's it. Okay, so you are going to write them in the correct place if you check them or if you cross them. And that's it. Okay, so don't forget that tomorrow we are going to have a new video. It's now on YouTube. Um, you can keep checking the activities. And also, kids. Uh, please don't forget to sing your activities on time. I think this week um, I'm not going to ask you f to record any videos because we need to hurry up, we need to work super hard. Uh, so I think that I've asked you for a lot of videos, so this week we are not doing it. Um, yes, so maybe the next week. But um, don't forget to write your name and also the date in each page. Remember that today we did three. 64, 65, and 66, and that's it. I'll see you tomorrow. Have an amazing day. Goodbye.